Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and into my home. Today, we're gonna do a satisfying purge, clean, and organize of my kitchen. I say satisfying because an organized kitchen is satisfying to look at and to cook in. These areas that I'm doing are areas that have been done in previous videos, but they need to be refreshed or they need to be rearranged to work better for me. I will show you items that I purchased that just didn't work for me, or I'll show you some items that I'm very happy with. I've also invested in a few new things that I'm excited to share with you. Okay, let's get started. If you're new here, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is Michelle. I'm the mom to three moms and a son. I do videos on cleaning, organizing, and setting up routines. I would love to have you involved in this community, so please subscribe and press the notification bell so that you get reminded every time I post a new video. And to all my faithful friends who come over and spend your time with me each week, please remember to like, comment, and share this video. Your support means the world to me. Okay, as you can see, we've already started here in my pantry. My very first video on YouTube was a massive, and I mean massive, declutter and organization of this little room. I'm very proud of that video. I'll add it in the drop down cards above for you to go see next, and I'll add a clickable link at the end of this video. In that video, I purchased containers and bins to make this room pretty but functional. As much as I enjoy Pinterest worthy pantries, I would rather have one that is functional and makes sense to the way me and my family live today. I'm one that enjoys having a home for everything, but most of all, I enjoy having that home to be functional. All these baskets, bins, and clear containers I got from a shopping haul that I shared on that pantry video. I put like items in them, which makes it easy to pull out onto the counters. If we're having sandwiches, I pull out the chips basket instead of multiple bags of chips. I also can look into the bread basket to quickly see if I need to buy more. I'm still very happy with these containers, although I will be investing in a more durable brand. You will see when I reorganize underneath the kitchen sink that the flip top didn't hold up very well for me under there. But for now, these are working great in my pantry. Now I know that we see them all over Pinterest and YouTube looking pretty with their name tag stickers on them. But for me, I switch things in the containers all the time, so I need them to stay clear. For quick reference, I only hand wash all my clear containers, even if they say dishwasher safe. Now I'm going to wipe down all the shelves before I bring in the baskets and the containers. I'm not really changing or rearranging much in the pantry because the system that I set up for myself in that pantry video worked very well for me. I've been dreaming all night, bringing me some inspiration. 
Never meant to love no one I would really love to hear from you in the comments. Tell me about yourself and how you found my channel. My heart is to help women reclaim peace in their lives through cleaning, organizing, and setting up routines. I do a lot of zone cleaning on this channel. I'll go ahead and I'll link the playlist above in the cards and also at the end of the video. Yes, we really do like these crackers that much. I bought them off of Amazon and they made me buy them in bulk. It's about time for me to look in these baking baskets and go ahead and get rid of the things that are expired. I also need to take inventory of what I need to buy at the store. Christmas is coming and I need to go ahead and stock up on the things that I'll need for Christmas baking. I got no clue. How do I know what I mean to you? Yay. Say it out loud. You may be wondering why I don't use the flip top containers for all this stuff. It's because I don't use it all that often. And also, when I need the sugars, I just pull out the whole basket so that way I have all the different sugars that I need. I do have three glass containers that I keep up in the pantry and it has flour, um, yeast, and sugar in it. I have those in there because I do use them occasionally. You mean everything to me. Let me love you on the inside, love you on the inside Tell me your loss feels so blue Leaving me on the spot so confused Oh baby Tasting so sweet, acting so rude Won't you tell me what I'm supposed to do? Yeah. High and low, in between, acting out, make it seem 
Working on our body language, working on our body language. Baby, now tell me exactly how you feel. I'm just trying to keep it real. Let me love you on the inside, love you on the inside. Tell me exactly what you mean. You mean everything to me. Let me love you on the inside. Okay, the pantry's back in order. It really only took me about an hour to get all this done. This system works so well for me that it really isn't a chore to keep this room organized. I basically just have to come in and refill my baskets and containers and wipe down the shelves and the floor. I'm showing you here that if I need the extra room, I just need to turn these baskets this way and then I'll be able to have the extra room to the left there. I can either add another basket or I can just use the shelf space as needed. Okay, now we're working on my grandkids' snack drawer. I always feel so blessed to fill this drawer with treats and snacks for our little ones. They will always remember the drawer, and I will forever remember the smiles on their faces. These plastic containers I got from Target. I like them in these drawers because they're deep and they come in different sizes. Hello. As I'm editing this video, I'm looking at those blue cups in the back and wondering why do I still have those? I really couldn't tell you why I still have those. I'm gonna go ahead and take them out and give them to Goodwill. Okay, now we're going to work on the refrigerator. My system for my produce just isn't working for me. So I bought some new items and I'm going to see how that works out. But I need to go ahead and clean out the refrigerator and get rid of all the expired items and use my thieves cleaner to wipe down everything. Isn't it time, isn't it time we go our separate ways? Not enough time, not enough time. 
So I told you that I would share with you some of my likes and dislikes. Here in the refrigerator, the one thing that I don't like is the refrigerator itself. The one thing that I don't like about it, well, actually two things, because as you can see, the door keeps shutting on me. I'm constantly having to hold it or it's going to knock me over. Anyways, I don't like the door. And the second thing, which is the most aggravating thing, is that the ice maker doesn't work. We've had them come in and replace it. We've tried fixing it ourselves all to end up with messed up ice. We did Google it and found out that this is an issue with the Samsung ice maker and that many are going into a lawsuit to sue Samsung to fix this annoying issue. But other than the ice maker, I really do like the refrigerator itself. And the other thing that I like is this Lazy Susan. It really helps to hold all those heavier glass jars. Y'all will have to excuse my hair. I can either wear it down and curled, which gets very hot, or I can wear it up in this top knot or messy bun. But because of my shoulder injury, I can't get the bun towards the back of my head where it should be. So if you're ever wondering how my shoulder injury is doing, all you have to do is look at the placement of my messy bun. So I bought some new containers for my produce that I'm about to share with you. I bought all these off of Amazon. These little ones here, I thought would be perfect for cheese and sandwich meats and things like that. It's got these little ridges on the bottom, so that way the food doesn't stick to the bottom of the container. It says that they're dishwasher, microwave, and freezer safe. I can see myself maybe using them in the freezer, but I definitely won't be using them in the microwave nor will I put them in the dishwasher. So I'm going to go ahead and hand wash all these and then I'll fill them up with the produce and other things. When you leave your herbs in these bags, they wilt very quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and dry off this cilantro and stick it in this container. You are conversation takes to paying it some interest from time
I ordered some larger containers to hold my celery and carrot sticks, things like that. But when I was filming this part, the containers hadn't come in yet. But soon, the doorbell rings, I get the containers, and I'm able to put all that celery into the container. I'll be in fools drifting the deep space So brave and so stupid Just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it each Okay, so this is my grandkids' refrigerator snack drawer. I'm gonna go ahead and get this all cleaned up for them. Be on the lookout for two of them that are sitting to the right of me. kids are asking me for some strawberries so I'm going to go ahead and cut these up for them and then store the rest of them in the refrigerator. Okay, here's that container that I was talking about. I'm going to go ahead and wash these up so that I can put my celery in one of them. I'm not going to go ahead and put the carrots in the other because I'm going to be using the carrots tonight. Okay, last but not least, underneath the kitchen sink. This area has become very aggravating to me. Most of the systems are working for me. It's the products that have become the problem. I'm gonna link the video above of the original declutter and clean of underneath this sink. So one of the first things that I'm not happy with are the Jaws cleaners. I know, I know, they're all the rage on YouTube and Instagram and all that. And although they are really good cleaners, I really miss the smells of Mrs. Myers and Method and those things. To me, the smell makes cleaning enjoyable and it's also the payoff for all the hard work. I'm going to continue using these until I run out, but then I will be switching back over to either Mrs. Myers or Method or one of the other ones that smells so good. If you have a recommendation, leave it down in the comment box. Maybe I might try it out. Okay, I don't like this soap filled scrub brush. It leaks and it's hard to push the button. 
I would much rather have the bamboo handle brush that I just add the soap on to. I bought these slide out drawers from Target. I haven't made the commitment to permanently screw them down to the bottoms of the cabinets. I decided that this time I'm going to go ahead and pull the drawers out closer to the edge of the cabinet and I'll use the space behind it to put the items that we don't use very often. That way I'm not tempted to use the space in front of the drawer to put things and then that way I can't pull the drawer out when I need to get to something in the back. I decided that the drawer on the right will be for dishes and floors and the drawer on the left will be for all other cleaners. I'm going to use this little container to hold all my microfiber cloths and just keep them all down here in between the cleaners. Okay, that's it. Let's see how this system works for me. I think it'll work out much better now that I can pull out these drawers. Anyways, friends, thank you for coming back and visiting me again today. I hope that this video has been super motivational for you. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And go ahead and head on over to the other videos that I'm posting at the end of this video. I look forward to visiting you again next Thursday. Stay blessed, my friends.